You wake up on Mercury, and everything is trying to kill you. The air is missing. You can't breathe. Mercury has no atmosphere, no oxygen, no mercy, but somehow you're still alive. Your body can handle more than it used to, but only to a point. Even with your new tougher skin and sun-resistant eyes, nothing alive can stand still on Mercury for long. Then comes the firestorm. Not just heat, this is furnace-level, metal-melting, soul-drying heat that presses down from above. One side of the planet is a blazing hellscape, 800 degrees, hot enough to melt lead. The other, a frozen wasteland, minus 290 degrees. Standing still means burning or freezing. That's why you need shelter, fast. Ahead, you see two possible options. A massive moving city, crawling along the horizon, gliding forward on giant rails, staying just ahead of the sun like a train outrunning an oncoming wildfire, or a dark tunnel entrance leading underground, a hole in the planet's surface that promises safety from the chaos above. Pick fast, there's no time for second guesses. You aim for the moving city and try to sprint, but the ground reacts differently. Gravity here is 38% of Earth's and it throws off your balance. You push too hard and suddenly you're airborne, floating like an astronaut who forgot to tether themselves, long enough to rethink all your life decisions before you finally land on the platform, miraculously on target. Inside, pressure returns, your lungs expand, oxygen floods in, you can breathe for now. The city is vast, towering, and alive. It glides forward on giant rails, always staying within the twilight zone, the narrow strip between fire and ice, where temperatures are just barely survivable. This is the only safe real estate on the planet. Stopping is not an option. Stopped cities don't become ruins, they disappear. Still, some people choose to live underground in massive tunnel systems carved deep into the crust. These cities stay still hidden from the surface, shielded from the chaos above. They're isolated but stable. When the moving cities pass near underground hubs, massive telescoping cargo limbs extend down like mechanical roots. They briefly lock into place, transferring essential supplies, food, water, air. Everything harvested or processed below is shared above in a dance of survival. And then there are solar storms, intense, frequent, and deadly. Mercury, being just 58 million kilometers from the sun, is bombarded by high-energy particles far more often than Earth. One strong coronal mass ejection can blast the surface with radiation levels hundreds of times above safety thresholds. The cities survive using massive electromagnetic shielding that rolls out like solar blankets, thin, flexible, and powerful enough to deflect most of the incoming radiation. If you're caught outside when one hits, the radiation doesn't just kill, it cooks you from the inside out. So how do people even eat here? Simple, they cheat science. Food is grown in underground bio vaults using artificial sunlight and hydroponics. Water is extracted from deep underground ice deposits, purified and recycled aggressively. You don't waste water here, not even your own sweat. Every drop, every calorie is controlled. No one gets more than they need, no one. So if you're thinking of ordering a large soda with extra ice, good luck with that. You feel like days have passed, but it hasn't even been an hour. Time here plays tricks on you. A year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days, but a single day, it lasts 176 Earth days. The sun takes months just to rise and set. You could celebrate your birthday twice before seeing another sunrise. Still, for the first time, you stop fighting for survival. You lie down, staring at the endless black sky. You've learned how humans survive here, how they adapt, fight, and build against impossible odds. But there's something about this place that still feels wrong. Then you see it, a tiny blue dot in the distance. Something about it feels off. It feels familiar. Have you always been here?